Time's up for city workers to meet Chicago's COVID vaccine deadline, but new data shows that deadline didn't prevent workers from refusing to get the shot, especially police officers who lead the pack when it comes to exemptions. WTDW News reporter Heather Sharon joins us now with more. Hey Heather, remind us what the vaccine deadline required and why there was so much strife around it. Well, this started nearly eight months ago when Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced that all city employees were required to get vaccinated against COVID-19. That triggered a wave of intense refusal and opposition from the Chicago Police Department. And Wednesday was the final deadline for police officers to get the final COVID-19 shot if they got the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. All right, the numbers are out. So what do we know about how many CPD officers are exempt uh, from getting the shot? More than 1,400 officers re requested and received either religious or medical exemptions from that vaccine requirement. Now, that amounts to 11.5% of the department. That is significantly higher than any other city department. For example, the Chicago Fire Department has a vaccine exemption level of about 6%, and the Streets and Sand Department has about a 5% vaccine rate. So it was clear that this was a very big issue among the police department and it appears Mayor Lori Lightfoot, instead of seeking to reject these vaccine uh, exemptions, granted them and will not have to fire thousands of officers for defying her order. And to be clear, she didn't or the police department didn't release the official reasons for the exemption. So we assume that they're religious or medical. So they have to be religious or medical under state law. So these were very narrow reasons. And of course, the Chicago Archdiocese, led by Cardinal Blaise Supich, said that the, that the Archdiocese would not grant those exemptions. So it's not clear why those exemptions were granted. All right, Heather, very interesting. Thanks very much. Thanks, Paris. And you can read Heather's full story on our website. That's WTTW.com news.